So I've been teaching for a little over six years, found my way here eventually, and this has been like the best experience that I've had professionally, and it was probably the best decision I could have made um, career-wise, because I love it. I started out teaching biology and anatomy, and then after that, um, I kept anatomy, and then I started um, forensics and animal science, like I built those two programs. We get credit when students complete a series or coherent sequence of, of CTE courses. For example, they will come into the school, they'll take a, a principles of agriculture class. Then the second year they'll take usually a vet med class. And then the third class would be the advanced animal science. This year I added dual credit biology to my little repertoire of teaching. The kids are easily engaged and they always go for those higher level thinking questions. Our partnership with NCTC is one of the one of the great things about this high school. And the one issue that we have is logistics, is getting the kids there. I mean, we do we run buses back and forth every every class period, basically. But with her essentially becoming an NCTC instructor, that really helps us out and allows us to get a lot more kids uh, with that dual credit biology that she and teaches. We just kind of have like a little family in our classroom. If you don't have that relationship with a student, it doesn't matter how good your classroom management is, they're not gonna really learn from you or be comfortable in your room enough to like actually grow as a person and a student. So this is my second year as the um, GHS UL coordinator. It's a lot, but it's fun because I get to like have my hand in every single little UIL activity and know, get to know students that I wouldn't normally get to know in my classroom. I actually coach myself, um, spelling and science. First of all, being a UIL coordinator is a big job in itself. You know, you gotta find the events, get them registered, get the kids meals, get transportation. Um, you gotta get the coaches together. You gotta move. We restart our season in May and we go through the summer. We go to camps. Fall is kind of like a gear up. We are practicing as soon as January hits. We're off and running. Um, where she takes a step further is that she's always looking for extra opportunities for our students. Sometimes it may be only two or three, like last week it was only two students that got a chance to uh, debate down at, at UNT, but she still spent two days doing that. But it's like every other week they're, they're out doing something and it's her on her own time. It's a little exhausting, <laughs> but um, it's totally worth it to see these kids grow.